Kyle, so welcome here to, to Washington, the City Open. Um, just wondered how preparations are going for you and, and as we make that transition back to the hard courts, how is that going? Uh, yeah, not too bad. I mean, um, I took a bit of time out after Wimbledon. Um, didn't really do much at all. So I went um, over to Bahamas, been training a bit there, um, trying to get my fitness back up, uh, playing as much as I can. So. Yeah, that, that's basically it, just been doing that and then um, came to Washington on Friday to make sure I gave myself enough time to sort of get used to conditions, um, spying with the pros um, and so on. So it's, a bit, it's been a bit of time, but time uh, quickly comes around and before you know it, you're back in the, the tournament schedule. So looking forward to American Hardcore Swing. It's like the, I guess, the last big swing with the Grand Slam. and. It's always sort of a fun time of year to come here. Do you think this surface gives you your best chance to win a, a maiden ATP World Tour title? Uh, I mean, possibly it's, um, you could always make a case for sort of each surface or each period while it gives me a good chance. So yeah, it's, it's tough to really say if this is my best chance or not. I mean, I'd like to think wherever I go, I have a, a decent enough chance. So um, yeah, it's each, each time I'm trying to get better, trying to trying to do the best I can. Um, for sure, a goal of mine is to, is to win a, my first ATP title, which I haven't done yet. So that would be a, a goal which will forever be there until I do it. So, um, you know, hopefully it comes soon enough. I mean, you're getting closer each year, obviously finally in, in Marrakesh, I think earlier in the year. Mm. Where do you see yourself in your development of your game and what do you think is the next biggest improvement you need to make? Well, this year has been a good year in terms of my development. Obviously, starting off um, in a you know big sort of development way in, in Australia. Um, lots of things, showing my games uh, in a good place already, showing what I can improve on at, at the very sort of elite stages of a tournament, uh, mentally, physically. So that was good. And then throughout the year, it's... Um, you always try and keep improving. You, you always like to think you are a better player than you were. A year ago or a few months ago because you have more experience and you're working in the game um, but that's it the the year is really so long that it's tough to really gauge because you're, you're constantly traveling and trying to play tournaments on different countries different surfaces but um, yeah it's I'm, all, I'm always trying to do my best and the coaches I have with me as long as they are telling me or as long as they see improvements and I'm trying to improve or I'm trying to work on the things that that's the main thing really and it's I guess it's all about sort of trusting where you're going and what you're working on. And when the draw came out and, and you saw there was a possibility of facing a certain Andrew Murray in the, in the second round and what were your yeah. thoughts on that and, and how hard is it playing someone you, you know so well and, and, and is a friend? Uh, yeah I mean uh, it's one of those things I don't um, I mean, it's the third time now since he's come back that I was potentially going to play in Queen's second round, East one second round, and his second round. So I'm not really sure what's going on. But um, yeah, I mean, it, in one way, it's tough to play him because uh, I know him so well. In the other sense, that you're a professional, you it's another match. You've got to go on there and, and do your job. Um, for me, playing him in East one and I guess getting. That that win over him was uh, was a funny feeling in one way because I always looked up to him, but another thing was it was nice to experience that and something I've never experienced sort of playing your idol and, and beat him who you're so close with. So that was sort of a new feeling for me. But we'll see what happens. I mean, the beauty of tennis is if it doesn't go your way, there's always new opportunities around the corner. So it's sort of like a uh, the best thing with tennis. But when you do have a good week. You don't have any time to celebrate it, so that's sort of, there's always silver lines to it. Okay, and, and maybe a quick um, your quick thoughts about the shot clock that's in place in this tournament, and, and also the, the slightly quicker uh, warm up that's taking place. What are, what are your thoughts on these rule changes? Uh, the warm up we've well, I've done for a, f a little bit of time now with uh, the Grand Slams, so you sort of get used to that. It's not actually really a problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, the shot clock will be interesting. I've not played with a shot clock, so it'll be my first time. I think historically, I'm generally okay. A few times I've been told by umpires to sort of quicken up, but um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, um, 
in one way it's good to know that you're dealing facts um, obviously stops the, the slower players to to speed up um, but yeah it, it'll be interesting to see how it works I've just got to try and gauge as much as possible um, and see what happens but um, yeah it's a tough one to really know what, what to make of it I think even when there wasn't a shot clock there you try and play within 25 seconds because those or 20 seconds because those are the rules anyway so it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem I don't think Okay, great. And can I just get your thoughts on on Sasha Zverev, um, mm. defending champion here, and and maybe how far he's he's gone in a really short space of time, and and how hard it is to face him. Yeah, I mean, as a player, to face him is is uh, tough. He's a good player, powerful player. Um, got good weapons, especially his backhand and serve. So, um, it's credit to him. He's always um, you know, been there at the tournament, especially when he's young. Um, and over time, he's obviously improved lots. So. It speaks for itself in terms of his, his results, uh, his ranking. Um, so he obviously deserves the credit he gets. He's got a good team around him. His dad's always with him. He's got obviously his brothers playing very competitively. And I know um, his fitness trainer is really well jazz. So they all work him very hard. And that's something I always try and do is try and work hard and, and you know use that as something to improve on. But He'll, uh, he's always still young, got a really long career ahead of him. Uh, I personally think he gets a little bit too much stick for his results at, at like slams and stuff, but it, it, um, people don't understand how tough it is mentally to you know keep performing. And when you're so young, you, you only keep learning how to deal with it better. So that's something I think he'll do. And um, yeah, he's gonna be around for a, for a long time. So um, hopefully I'll play him more times.